everybody remembers the first flight of the A350 back in June last year on that perfect spring day. But what many people don't realize is that the first flight is just the halfway point on the way to an aircraft certification and entry into service with a commercial airline. A lot of hard work gets done before and after the test flight. In the uh, certification process of the TA350, I would uh, point out to three main phases. The first phase was all the testing that was done at the suppliers at, at our test rigs internally before the airplane ever flew. Then the second phase was the phase of flight test, and that is when we had uh, up to five airplanes flying, taking the airplanes uh, to their structural aerodynamics and environmental limits. And the third phase was the final phase, which is well, the route proving, which is basically a dress rehearsal where we demonstrated that the airplane was fit to fly and be operated in a normal airline environment. As part of the certification process, before the first flight, a whole series of tests and all the aircraft systems is carried out, including on the landing gear, hydraulics, electrics and flight control. Much of this is done on what is called the Iron Bird at Airbus, and the systems are rigged up to a simulator to make sure everything is working properly on the ground. After that successful virtual first flight, the certification process shifted into a higher gear. There are so many tests to get through that five different A350s were used to get through them all and keep the program on time. We take the airplane to the limits of the environmental conditions that the, the airplane will always encounter, will encounter. For example, we take the airplane to very cold weather conditions. We take the airplane to high operating altitudes, high, high airports, hot weather conditions. We also take the, the test the airplane structure uh, up to its limits. We test the aerodynamics up to its limits. We take the brakes, test the brakes up to the limits. So the testing campaign is all about identifying the, those limits, structural, aerodynamic and systems limits to make sure that the systems work correctly. The idea is to put the aircraft through all types of extreme conditions that the aircraft is unlikely to ever experience during its life cycle. That means ramping up the speed well beyond what it will go at normal cruising altitude and seeing how it does in the most bitter weather in northern Canada or stifling sticky heat. That test was done at a specially adapted hangar at an Air Force base in Florida where the temperature can be turned up to 45 degrees centigrade. That way, the crew can see how the electrical systems and air conditioning can handle heat and humidity. Needless to say, the A350 emerged with flying colors. After the aircraft was put through extreme testing, it was down to the final stretch, known as route proving, which took the aircraft literally around the world with stopovers in the Middle East, New Zealand and South America. With passengers, catering staff and luggage, the idea is to make sure that nothing has been overlooked before the aircraft is good to go. The uh, third and final stage of, of certification is the route proving, which as I mentioned is the final dress rehearsal of the airplane. Uh, during the previous uh, phases, we have been checking and demonstrating that the airplane complies with the individual requirements of the authorities. The route proving is all about making, demonstrating to the authorities that that airplane as a whole can be operated in a normal airline environment. So carrying passengers, servicing the airplane, doing long flights, doing short flights, uh, doing normal turnaround times and operating into a variety of airports and environmental conditions. So it's really the last and final demonstration that the airplane is fit to enter into service. Throughout the long and rigorous certification process, independent pilots and engineers working for the European and American aviation authorities monitor the tests the Airbus team carry out. They accompany the teams in the air and assess the data from the flights. In all, some 2,500 documents are scrutinized by the aviation authorities before giving the aircraft the full bill of health. And when it comes, immense satisfaction is the key emotion at Airbus. I think from an engineering point of view, it's uh, really a, a great award for the, the team uh, to be able to achieve this and, and to know that they've developed uh, an aircraft that's been proven to be uh, both uh, reliable able to perform uh, and to satisfy the needs of our customers. So it's, uh, it's really a great endorsement uh, for engineering to have the type certification of the aircraft. 
really a tremendous endorsement when in the end they, they do say yes the, the aircraft is compliant with the regulations and therefore it can go into service so this really is we know then that uh, we've, we've done a good job. The hard work started more than seven years ago and Airbus pledged to have the aircraft certified by September 2014 and that is exactly what the A350 team did. What I have been in this company for the last 30 plus years, uh, what for me stands out uh, in the certification phase of the A350 is the fact that we have stuck to our commitments. We committed two years ago to certify this airplane in 14 months. We will have certified the airplane in 14 months. We said we would certify this airplane in September this year. We have. We said we will deliver this airplane before the end of 2014. We will be ready to de deliver this airplane before uh, the end of this year.